What's going on YouTube? John from JohnTheMarket.com here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to give you a full overview of Kajabi and I'm also going to tell you why I love it so much. But before we get into that definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. I'm always posting new content in the marketing niche in the marketing area so I would highly recommend that you hit that alert button so you know when I drop a new video. I'm posting videos every single day so you definitely want to be in the know. So why Kajabi? The reason why I like Kajabi is because it's modern, it's elegant, and it's easy to use. In this video, I'm going to show you um, some key things what you want to look out for when you sign up for a Kajabi account. If you don't have a Kajabi account and you want to try it out, all you have to do is click the link down below um, and you can get a uh, trial and you can see how it works and see if it works for you. But I really think that anyone who clicks the link will be really satisfied because I was really, really happy with my decision to use Kajabi. Um, before using Kajabi, I was using ClickFunnels and I love ClickFunnels, but I do have to say that their membership area is a little lacking in that modern touch, that modern aesthetic, and Kajabi just gave me that and more. So this is why I chose to not use ClickFunnels and I started to use Kajabi and I've been so happy since. So when you sign up for Kajabi, this is what it looks like. This is the dashboard, the main dashboard. Um, it's very clean. It's very modern, like I said. And what you want to do is you probably want to go to the settings area. So just clicking on this gear icon to set up all your different details. I would recommend going into the site details where you're going to manage the homepage and the SEO of the actual website. You would also probably want to set up your payment integrations as soon as possible just so that you have it. You don't have to use the payment, gate, uh, payment gateways on Kajabi. What I'm doing is I'm actually um, using ClickFunnels and using WordPress to uh, host my payment integration and then just using Zapier to uh, zap that information into Kajabi and then that is how that person would get an account. So you would definitely want to set it up. You definitely want to set up a custom domain. So what I did for me, uh, for my, my website, all I did was set up a subdomain. So it says course.videoadjumpstart.com and then videoadjumpstart.com is where I'm going to host my um, sales page, my order page, the blog, etc. So I, I set up a subdomain and that's very easy to do and you can set it up um, they have instructions on how to set it up. So you definitely want to set up the site details. You want to set up the payment integrations, the custom domain. Um, you can probably look into third-party integrations, but other than that, there really isn't much need to do. Maybe you want to update your account details so that your information is in there. But other than that, you can take a look to see if there's anything you want to update. Um, you might want to go into the static pages as well. Uh, just because that's where your about us terms and privacy policy lie. But other than that, that's the only settings you really need to look into. And also you can always go to help if you ever need to get some help with the Kajabi assistant. So let's actually go look at what happens when you add a product or a offer. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add an offer and an offer essentially is the package, the thing that people are buying into the course, the product, whatever the case may be. That is the thing that they are buying. So you want to make sure that you set up the price, you set up the title, and you can always go back and edit that information if you want to change it out a little bit. Um, but that that's totally up to you. This is essentially uh, Kajabi is saying, you know, if someone were to buy your course or your program on Kajabi, what will happen? How will it look? Like I said, I'm not using Kajabi for the payment uh payment uh, area, but I am using it for the membership area. So I still have an offer just in case, but that's totally up to you. After you set up your offer, you want to go to all products, and this is where you're going to actually set up the new uh, product and associate that with an offer. So this is my video ad jumpstart product, and this is essentially my, my course. Okay. So this is the whole entire thing. This is what the membership area looks like. This is how you're going to set up your product. So this is called the product outline. Essentially, it's like the course curriculum, if you will. Uh, and you can add different categories here so that you can have essentially lessons. Okay. And then within those categories, you can add trainings. So add a post as they call them. Um, and what you want to do is just fill this up with your, your course material. And then once you have something that you like, you can in, uh, click on the specific lesson that you're trying to edit. Either click on the title, click on the little pencil icon here. Um, both will work and it's going to bring us to the actual lesson page where we can have uh, where we set up the title where we set up the video and one thing I really really like about Kajabi is that the the lessons or the video is hosted through Wistia which is a really really uh, secure site and video hosting platform that normally costs upwards to like $300 per month so if you get a Kajabi account my account I'm paying $100 per month so I'm really I'm, I'm getting a membership area but I'm also getting Wistia so 
what's cool what's cool about this is it's it takes it's way harder for someone to black hat your stuff um I've, i had a course of mine black hatted and it was on the black market and it sucked it sucked because i put a lot of time and i put a lot of effort into that course into that training and then to have someone go into it like buy it as if they were going to use the information and then refund it and then take all the content that they made which was posted on youtube unfortunately and then they just ripped the information and then made it and put it on the black market and sold it for like 60 bucks or whatever the case it was i can't remember um but with, when you insert your video into kajabi it, it it's harder for them to do that so it's more secure is what i'm getting at and it's really really important that your videos are secure so you can enter a title here you can change the category if you want you can also um, just add some text here about what the, the content is about. You can also add some automations. I don't really use automations for this uh, for this course, but you know if I ever did, I could. And you can also add downloads. So if you have a cheat sheet that they can download directly to their computer, you can add downloads. It's really, really cool. And um, the way I have mine set up, let me just preview this for you. The way that I have mine set up is set up based on like um, like a playlist style, which is kind of cool. So I'll show you how that looks. And the reason um, I went with the playlist theme and i'm going to show you the themes in a second um what themes are available to us when you get a kajabi account like i said if you don't have an account yeah just click the link down below um but you get you get a sort you get a, a assortment of themes that you can use and i just opted in for this one so you can edit the theme however you want and this is just how mine looks so at the top i have a logo my library essentially if other people if people buy other courses of mine that are in the video ad jumpstart niche that will show up here, private Facebook group search, and then just an icon. And then down below, you can see that the video is here. Um, and then we have the playlist style, like I was saying, which is the lessons essentially. So if someone wanna quickly just go to the next lesson, they can easily do that. They can also go to the next category, which is essentially the, the next step of the course, right? And then uh, down below, I can mark complete, meaning that, um, meaning that they they completed the course and we can also go to the next lesson area, okay? So this is how I like it. It's really modern compared to ClickFunnels. If you haven't watched my Kajabi vs. ClickFunnels video, go check that out. Um, I think it looks way better. And this is not to like trash ClickFunnels or anything like that, but I believe that when you have a product that's $500, $1,000, $2,000, you wanna give an experience to that person. You wanna show them that you took the time and effort to really develop something that they can feel happy about and feel like they they made a good purchasing decision it's really important that when you provide a product that's high priced that you show someone that you did a lot of effort so that they they're, they're purchasing um dissonance it doesn't get it's not negative okay um so that's that's essentially essentially this so let's actually go check out our themes that come with the different uh products okay sorry let's go to all products go here and we're gonna click on customize and then you can see here I have I have a classic product theme a, a premier product theme um, and if you want to customize the theme all you need to do is just click on this little um, paint icon and then you can add different things to that particular theme so like changing out the footer changing out the header um, which is really important when you're designing something you kind of want to give it that personal flair that customization standpoint which uh, elevates the, the the positioning of the brand positioning of the product itself so you definitely want to do that I highly recommend that you change this stuff out um, so you can go to the settings so you can change out the uh, favicon um, the color scheme the message colors etc and you can also edit all this out so it's a it's really it's really intuitive it's really easy so if i want to edit that i can just go here and just edit it out um i can edit all these different things okay so if i want to change this out i can change it out and then what you want to do to change specific things is down here you can set up um you can change it based on the page type. So for example, if I want to change how the posts look, essentially a post is uh, the, the course lesson. Um, so I can change how that looks as well. So you can change out individual, um, one second, my computer's loading. You can change out individual page types, if you will. 
Um, and you can also change it based on if it's on mobile, desktop, and tablets, etc. So this is pretty simple. It's really easy to change out things. You just click on it, change the color, like I said. And if you want to change the header, you can change out the header, change out um, what's presented in the header. Um, and if you want to make a, 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 a menu, you have to go out of this area, but it's really simple. So let me go back here and click on, I'm gonna click on, sorry, I'm gonna click on pick a theme. So if you pick a theme, that's where we're going to see the different course type themes that we can have. Um, and if you want to preview it, just click on theme details. Most of these are free. I believe these are all free. Yeah. So if you like the one I have, the one I'm using is called Premiere. So it's the first one. But there's a lot of different ones that you can select. Like Victoria seems like a nice one. So if I click on theme details, um, you can get a little preview of what this is and what the theme entails. So if this is more like your style, definitely just click on it and click on install theme. That will install the theme for you. And then you could change out the logo, the text, the color, etc. Um, so let's go to. I want to show you how to change out the header. So I'm going to go to website really quickly. And if you go to website, this is where all your other pages lie. So like, for example, the home page. So if you if someone were to go to course.videoadjumpstart.com, this is where they would probably see. So I haven't customized it, customized it yet, um, but I, I intend to. So if you go onto design and you go to navigation, this is where you're going to be able to change what is shown in the main menu. And the main menu is essentially the header menu. Um, and you can also change out what's seen in the footer. So if you want other things to be included in the main menu, all you have to do is click on add link and then you can um, select a category, post a page, a link uh, to that main menu area or the footer area is the same thing. Um, but essentially it's it's really, really straightforward. It's not hard, it's not complicated. All you have to do is add your offer, add your product, start adding things and, and, and customizing it to the the way you like it. That's all you really have to do. It's really not hard. And I, I really, really am satisfied with Kajabi. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so I just wanted to give you a look at how the dashboard looks, how, what, you, what you should expect when you are going to get a Kajabi account. Like I said, it is pretty intuitive, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna take a bit of time to understand it. It took me about probably a day to really see where everything is. But like I said, everything is pretty much laid out for you. Just go to the settings, um, check out the different things in the settings area, fill out what you need to fill out. Um, and then once you have done that, all you need to do is go to your products area. And then um, once you're in the product, you can uh, customize the actual overall theme of that product and then also add individual lesson and sub lessons to your course. That's pretty much all you need to do. I'm gonna have some more Kajabi um, tutorials in the future, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what to expect when you go into Kajabi. Like I said, it is really, really, um, the aesthetic of the way I have this course, the way it looks, it looks really, really nice. Like the resume course thing is really awesome, a nice feature. And if I go into these individual categories, you can see that I have um, different things, right? So if I go to softwares and programs used, you see I have all these different things. And if I wanna mark it as complete, that person can mark it as complete, which is really important to see and, and track what people are doing and what people are not doing. So you can improve on the experience for the customer. And I think that's really important. Uh, I think we have to kind of put the consumer first, the customer first when we're designing these things. And Kajabi really makes that easy. So I highly recommend Kajabi. All you have to do is click the link down below to get started with Kajabi. I really like it. Um, and like I said, I'm using it. So I will have um, some more uh, some more tutorials and I'll be talking about it more just because I'm using it more and I really like it. So uh, definitely click the link down below if you wanna get a copy of free trial. Just try it out, see how you like it for your brand, your course. And then if you like it, just run with it. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, leave those down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.